Hi guys, welcome back to 3D Printing Doctor YouTube channel. My name is Liana and today I'm going to be your guest host. In this video, we will be unboxing Snapmaker 2.0 A350 3-in-1 3D printer. Let's go get a 3D printer. And here it is! First of all, this box was super heavy, trying to get it up the stairs was definitely a workout. As you guys may recall earlier, I said this 3D printer is 3-in-1. So it does 3D printing, laser engraving, and CNC carving. Now it's time to unbox this beast. All right, let's go unbox Oh boy, it's a really big lid here. And there's another box underneath. All right, we have this box here now. It says, welcome to the Snapmaker family. So cute. I guess we're all part of the Snapmaker family now. Um, it says they're excited to provide us with an eco-friendly package. Uh, looks like this is both recycled and compostable, so that's awesome. Okay, we'll go ahead and open this up. And, ooh, look at this beautiful, nice black foam here with our quick start guide. Very sleek looking guide. Okay, looks like we're supposed to take these side ones out first. So let's go ahead and do that. Roll it on out there. This one, okay, this big block of foam. It's very nice foam. And it looks like we have our five linear modules. It's really nice how they show a photo here. Take these out. And later on, we will open each of these boxes individually after we get all of them out of this big box. Now onto the second layer here, we have a bunch of things. Um, we have these tool heads for all three components of the 3D printer, which are very nice. And we have a bunch of tools and accessories that they gave us. I think it's so cool that they put little images on here. Next, we have this touchscreen and controller here. This big power module. Nice box. Nice and sturdy boxes. And it looks like they sent us some complimentary 3D printing filament. Super nice of them, so thank you Snapmaker for sending this. And now we're on the third layer and we have some little boxes over here on the side. We have the adapters and brackets here. And we have some cables. These cables. And lastly, we have this big box here. All the boxes have been extremely sturdy, which is awesome. And as we read on the front, they're compostable, which is even better. Let's take this out. There's the work platform. It's really, really well made. Oh, it looks like we have another box here. Unexpected, um, but we'll take a look at that. Let's take this up here, and this is what we have. It looks like a button plate here. Let's go ahead and flip it over. See the front, and this is the front. Uh, really nice, smooth metal here, and it looks like they have their logo. Um, extruded up here, which is really nice. Just have this nice block of foam. Again, packaging is so good on this box. They did a really awesome job. Two layers of foam, even better. And now we're at the bottom, a big empty box here. Okay, our one big box has now become all of these little boxes here. So let's go ahead and start unboxing the little boxes. All right, so we've already unboxed and opened this bottom plate here. Um, if you remember, here's the back side of it. Now we'll begin by opening this complimentary filament that they gave us. Um, looks like they say PLA black, so we already know what it is. But let's go ahead and open it. Very nice and easy way to open it here. And it looks like it says make something wonderful. It's so cute. And here it is. Um, it looks like it is nicely vacuum sealed there. Looks like it's PLA 1.75 millimeters and the temperature range is 190 to 210 centigrade. It's nicely packed and vacuum sealed. There's the back here. And let's move on to the next one. Now we're moving to the power module. Let's open this one up as well. Again, nice clean packaging with a cute little logo there. Oh, wow, look how pretty this is here. Um, very sleek and shiny looking. And we have here on our back all the specs, the power module, the input of 100 to 240 voltage and four amps. We have our cooling fins here. And if we turn them around, we have all of our connection points right here, as well as our on and off switch. Next, we have our touchscreen and controller here. Um, up. Oops. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, looks like we have our touch, touch screen here. Um, it has our cable on the back. Uh, nice cable. Designed by Snapmaker. Very smooth, sleek design, just as the other one was. And has a little stand, little cable, uh, touch screen holder, which is nice. And we have our controller here with all the different sockets. Just look inside one real quick. Um, it has the make something wonderful on the back. Very nice design. And more cables that are, looks like they're labeled for us, which is super nice. Okay, moving on to the adapters and brackets here. Let's go ahead and open this. And we have uh, two brackets. Beautiful finish. Looks like it's nice and anodized. Um, one and another one here. Oops, a little tricky to get out there. Okay, and our adapters. Oh, what a nice little graphic they put with the sockets here and then two sockets back here. And the same thing on this one. Now we have our cables here and let's see, just as I would have expected, we have the computer connection cable and we have just some socket cables. That's nice. And of course the power. Moving on to our work platform here, a big, big box. Let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, and what do we have? Looks like we have our 3D printing bed here. Let's open up this little box. And we have calibration card. Uh, has ruler on the back. I guess they give us two of them, that's very nice. And looks like we have something to clean our lenses. And what is this? This is high quality acrylic, so I guess this is some testing material for our laser cutter. That's cool. And some more just pieces of wood also used for testing. Okay, we have our beautiful 3D printing bed here um, with the cables up here. Um, let's go ahead and take this one out. Ooh, it's actually quite light, which is very nice. And there it is on the back. Moving on to the next bed here. I'm guessing this is for our laser cutting bed. Um, but we will see. Um, and let's open these things here on the side. Um, looks like there may be a few of them. And yep, let's see, how many do we have? Three and four. Yet these four would go on top of this bed that we just opened and be the laser cutting bed. Moving on to the next layer, we have the CNC bed. Okay, this out here, very sturdy bed with lots of points here that will, I'm guessing, be for holding your piece in place. We have the logo down here and the nice measurements for the X and Y axis. There's the back, um, pretty straightforward, but very sturdy. Moving on to our tool heads, it looks like we already know what they're gonna look like there, but let's go ahead and open them. Okay. And here they are, nice and shiny. We have three different ones. Looks like we have the 3D printing module. Let's take this one out here. Oops, oh boy. Okay, and there it is. Uh, looks like we have a 0 0.4 millimeter nozzle. Very nice. Um, next, moving on to the CNC module here. Take this one out. There we go, nice and sleek looking. And we have our rotary head right here. There, and last but not least, we have our laser module, the laser beam head here. As they remind you, definitely don't look into the laser beam. Wouldn't be great. And as you saw on all of them, all four have these sockets in the back, which the cables we opened earlier will attach to. Moving on to the assortment of tools and accessories they give us. Um, let's see what we have. Oopsies. Oh, and they give us a full toolbox. How awesome is that? Let's take a look at what we have in our toolbox. Very nice toolbox. I like the black plastic. I think that is super cool and adds a nice touch to it. All right, let's see the different tools we have. I'll open a few of them. Looks like we have a scraper here for the 3D printer. Uh, there it is. Snapmaker logo, of course. Uh, it's very comfortable and it's kind of like a rubbery material there. Very nice. Um, it looks like we have some tweezers. I'm sure you guys know what those are, so don't need to open those. Um, a wrench, which 
is nice. Oh, I guess it's a group of wrenches. There's multiple in there. That's awesome. And let's take a look at some pliers. I'm sure you know what pliers look at look like, but let's just open them anyways. And here they are. I think they're also called flash cutters, um, but very comfortable again. Super nice. Okay, and moving on. Um, I think these are just dividers that you put into here to give you little co compartments, so no need to open those. Um, here, it looks like we have a screwdriver head. Okay, open this one up. And ooh, look at that, so shiny, super high-tech and futuristic looking. I really like these details that they added. I think that's super cool. And yeah, okay. And we have a USB drive, hard drive. It comes in its own little backpack, it's cute. And whoa, super shiny, super fancy looking. Look at that. And it looks like we just have a stand of some sort for something. Um, here we have some ball end mills for the CNC. Um, again, really, really nice packaging there. And we have a bunch of screws, screw uh, screws and nuts here, many different sizes, more screws, more nuts, um, some silicone plugs, and I'm not sure what this will be for, although it looks like something from another part of the package, which I'll show in a second, some Velcro, and some more nuts and some more screws. So a lot of things that fit in this box. Okay, it looks like they gave us some pair of goggles, which is very nice of them. Oh, and we actually have two pairs of goggles. Nicely labeled for us, the laser and the CNC. It just looks like a classic pair of lab goggles. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, and they even have the ceiling, so it stays nice and clean for you. Um, and they ha give us these laser goggles, so you can keep track of your creation while there's laser cutting. You know what, I think I'm just gonna try these on. And, whoa, <laughs> these are really, really nice and seem like very good quality. Um, I think I'll just keep them on for a while. Okay, in the last part of the box, we have an assortment of CNC alignment blocks um, for the CNC carver. Um, there's different components, many different sizes that will just fit right into the CNC bed that we opened up earlier. These look all the same, just a bunch of them here, and uh, small small ones as well, so a range of sizes. All right, last but not least, out of all the components we've opened is the linear module here. Um, if you remember, we have five of these actually, so I'm just gonna open one of them to begin with. nicely protected on the ends with these foams. As always, consistently good packaging by a Snapmaker. Um, we have a linear stage here. Of course, it's not going to move right now because it's locked, but it's very nice. And we have all of uh, these threaded holes back here for many different attachment points when you're going to mount it. Here we have the one that we just unboxed and we have number two, three, four, and five. Now let's take a closer look at our quick start guide provided to us. Um, let's open it here first. Nicely sealed for us. And it looks like they gave us some other freebie things. We have these stickers, throw it on your computer or your phone. Very nice. And just some more information about the platform. Join this uh, Snapmaker community. Nice. And ah, throwing in a little integral. Always like ourselves an integral. Um, just flip through it here a little. That's uh, nice laid out directions for us. And beautiful images. So that is our quick start guide. Snapmaker did a really great job with it. It's very high quality and it's smooth like a baby's butt. <laughs> All right, we've come to the end of our unboxing video today. Thank you for making it this far. I know it was pretty long. Um, but here we have this beautiful 3D printer by Snapmaker. Thank you, Snapmaker, for giving me this opportunity to look at your awesome product. Um, I highly recommend that you guys go check it out. All the links 
um, and info on Snapmaker are in the description box. This is actually their biggest printer, but they have a wide range of printers that are smaller and varying in size. Um, we will be continuing the series looking at this printer with assembling, all the settings you need to use, and um, maybe using it for a fun project as well as um, giving our own opinions and reviews on it in future upcoming videos. Those links will also be down below, um, but be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell so you know when we post it. By the way, we also have a very active Instagram account where we are almost at 13K, so help us get there by following. The link is down below. Um, on the Instagram account, we showcase all of our awesome prints. Some of them you can see behind me now. Um, and of course, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and give us a comment telling us what you think. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video. Maybe or maybe not. Bye.